Okay, in this video we're going to look at factorization, or quadratic factorization again, and it's this time it's whenever you've got a number in front of the x squared, so in other words something like 2x squared or 3x squared, uh, so really whenever x is not equal to 1. Uh, if you've just got an x squared, have a look at the other factorization video uh, on quadratics. So we've been asked to factorize 2x squared plus 11x plus 5. So let's think of our brackets. Now, we're going to have two things at times together to give you 2x squared. So remember whenever it's just x squared, you had an x and an x? Well, because it's 2x squared, you're going to have a 2x and an x. And that was quite an easy one because 2x times x is 2x squared, so it just had to be a 2x and an x. If this number was something like a 4x squared, you could have 2x and 2x and 4x and x. We'll look at one of those in a minute, okay? So the reason I've went for 2x and x was because it times to give you 2x squared, so I've put a 2x and an x. Now, uh, like before, the two numbers on the end here will times together to give you 5, okay? But they won't add together to give you 11x. You're going to have to sort of use trial improvement to work that out, okay? And as you become much better at these, you'll be, you'll be able to just spot it straight away or work it out in a few seconds. So, the two numbers will times together to give you 5. Now, because you've got a plus sign here, it's, it's very likely, actually, it's going to be the case that they're going to be two positives. So, it's going to be a plus and a plus. So, times together to give you 5, so you've really got 1 and 5. Now, it's important which way around you put these. So, you could have 1 and a 5 or a 5 and a 1. They're sort of the options you can put in here. Now, you want to get 11x. So, let's look, do for you. You've got 2x times x, which is 2x squared. You're going to have 2x times this number and x times this number. Now to get 11x, well I'm thinking, well if I put the 5 over here, you're going to have 2x times x, or sorry, 2x times 5, which would be 10x, and if you put the 1 here, you would get x times 1. So if you were to use FOIL here, you would get 2x times x, which is 2x squared, 2x times 5, which is plus 10x, x times 1, which is plus x, and 1 times 5, which would be plus 5. These two in the middle would add together to give you 10x plus x is 11x plus 5. So then that would be your answer, 2x plus 1, x plus 5. If I put the numbers of the way around, and I had put uh, 5 here and 1 here, whenever you done FOIL, they wouldn't give you the expression that you wanted. Okay. So what I've done is I've just sort of used trial improvement to work out where it would be. Okay, so here we've got another quadratic we're going to factorise. So you've got 3x squared plus 11x plus 6. So again, put your two brackets down. Now again, this is quite nice because it's 3x squared. Whenever it's a prime number here, it's quite nice. So 3x squared, well, that would have to be a 3x and an x. Okay? If it was a 4x, again, you could have 4x and x, 2x and 2x. So there would be different options. But I've chosen one that's quite nice at the minute. Now again, the two numbers on the end will times together to give you the 6. Uh, and because you've got a plus and a plus, it's very likely it's going to be two plus. Well, it's going to be the case where it's a plus and a plus there. So, the times together to give you six. So you could have one and six, six and one, two and three, three and two. Now, if you put these pairs into here, you will get one of them, which would, whenever you expand using FOIL, then you get 3x squared plus 11x plus six. Now, we just need to work out what it's going to be. <coughs> Okay, um, let me just show you what would happen if you put in the wrong one. Okay, so if I had chosen 1 and 6, and I put 1 here and 6 here. Well, 3x times x would be 3x squared. 3x times 6, well, that's 18x. Well, already I can see that's too big. Yeah, I want 11x. 1 times x is plus x, and 1 times 6 is plus 6. So you'd get 3x squared plus 19x plus 6. So it, that one wouldn't work because you wouldn't have the number in the middle that you're looking for. So you then have to try the other options and so on. Okay, um, If you're not very good at this, you can just quickly sort of use FOIL on all your options and work it out. Might be a way to sort of get you started to sort of, you know, spot the techniques to do it really quickly. Um, but as I say, whenever you get better at this, you should be able to do it quite quickly. So 6 and 1, if you were to put 6 and 1 on here, you would get 3x squared plus 3x. See the way I'm just saying it out loud. So plus 3x plus 6x. 3x plus 6x is 9x. We wanted 11x, so that's not the right option either. Okay, 2 and 3. Well, if I put 2 here and 3 here, 3x times x is 3x squared. 3x times 3 is 9x. 
2, uh, 2 times x is 2x. Well, 9x plus 2x, that's 11x. Oh, so this is the right option. And then 2 times 3 is 6. So that would be your answer. 3x plus 2, x plus 3. So you could use FOIL there just to sort of find out that you get 11x in the middle. Okay, so we've been asked to factorise 5x squared minus 9x minus 2. So again, bracket, 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 bracket. Because it's 5x squared, again, I've chosen a nice one. That's 5x and x. Now this time they will times together to give you minus 2 and then whenever you put the options in and you use FOIL you're going to have to get minus 9 in the middle. Now let's think of numbers that times together to give you minus 2. Well that's going to be, uh, you could either have, uh, let's go up here, you could either have 1 or minus 2 or minus 1 and 2. So they're your options. So actually this is going to be quite a nice quick one because you're going to need two options you can put in. So uh, let's try it. Uh, now actually there's not just going to be two options, there's going to be four options because you could put it like this, 1 and minus 2, minus 2 or minus 1 and 2. You could also put the two the way around and that's important here. You could do 2 minus 1 or minus 2 and 1. So I suppose there's four different options depending on which way around you're going to put them in. So uh, let's have a look. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to get minus 9x. Now you could just try to put all these in and use FOIL, but I'm sort of going to talk you through how I'd think through it logically. So you've got 5x times x is 5x squared. You know you're going to have one of these in here. Uh, now you're looking for minus 9x. Now if you want minus 9x, well I'm thinking if you put minus 2 over here, 5 times minus 2 would be minus 10x. Well that's sort of getting you close to the minus 9. It's the only way actually you could get sort of close to it. And then put the plus 1 here. Let's just check and see if that would work. 5x times x is 5x squared. 5x times 2 is minus 10x. 1 times x is 1x, so minus 10x plus 1x would be minus 9x. And 1 times minus 2 is minus 2. So just use them foil again. 5x squared minus 10x plus x. Well, that's going to add together to give you the minus 9x minus 2. Okay, so you get 5x squared minus 9x minus 2. So again, you're just trying to find them so whenever you expand it, the, the terms in the middle will give you the one there. Okay, and finally, we're going to factorise 8x squared minus 2x minus 1. Now, I've already mentioned it a few times. This is one of the ones where you've got a few options that you can have at the front of your brackets. So bracket, 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 bracket. Now here you can have 8x and x, or you could have 4x and 2x. So you've got different options you could have here. Um, and again, they will times together to give you minus 1. So you could have, uh, let's see, minus 1, so you could have 1 and minus 1, or you could have minus 1 and 1. So at least that bit's quite nice for this question. So we just need to figure out what's going to go in the front of the brackets. Uh, you could use trial improvement. Um, again, just try different things. I'm actually just going to use trial improvement for this one. Um, but you could also use, um, you know, you, you'll be able to spot it. Now, uh, you could do 8x and x. And you could try the top one here. So it would be plus 1 and minus 1. See here. So 8x times x is 8x squared. 8x times minus 1 will be minus 8x. Plus 1x will be minus 7x. So that's not going to work. If I made this a minus and this a plus, let's see if that works. 8x times 8x, or 8x times x is 8x squared. 8x times 1 is 8x. Minus x, so that's, minus, that's plus 7x. So again, that wouldn't work. So it can't be this way. Okay, so we're going to want to put in 4x here, let's get rid of these, and 2x here. Okay, so uh, let's try it again. So you've got plus 1 and minus 1. So let's see if this works. 4x times 2x is 8x squared. 4x times minus 1 would be minus 4x plus 2x. Minus 4x plus 2x is minus 2x. Oh, this is good. This is the right one. And 1 times minus 1 is minus 1. Okay? And that's it. As I said, the more you do with these, the better you'll become.